Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about some uh, tips and tricks for figuring out if what you're reading about is a observational study or a designed experiment. So I have four uh, examples here and we're just going to read through them and focus on some of the key words that helps to make these decisions. So option one, a researcher randomly selects 50 women and asks them questions about their health habits. This information is then collected and analyzed. So in that paragraph, I never describe actually assigning different uh, treatments to the women. And so because we're just asking them a question and not doing anything, or we're just observing them, that's an observational study because nothing is assigned. Sometimes students will get confused by the randomly select because then they start to think about randomly assign. But if you're not actually doing anything, it's not a, an experiment. So the next one we have is a researcher randomly selects 300 families and randomly assigns each family to a different nighttime activity. After 30 days, the researcher records information on family dynamics, happiness, etc. Because we're assigning here and we're not just asking them what do they do in the evening, that then becomes an experiment. And because we're randomly assigning it, you could also call it a randomized experiment. So because we're doing, it's an experiment. Next one, a researcher randomly selects 14 athletes from a high school. The researcher assigns each athlete a different diet and then follows the athlete for their season to gauge the diet's effects on athletic performance. So there it is being assigned. It doesn't say that it was randomly assigned, but that doesn't matter because the researcher is actually doing something or affecting change in the participant. That then is an experiment. And then the next one we have is a researcher randomly selects 67 cities. The city municipal water, for, water source is assessed and the amount of chemicals, toxins, and fluoride is recorded. The researcher then collects health data from local physicians and dental offices to see if there's an association between health outcomes and levels of chemicals in the water supply. So there, all that was done was data collected. So information on what's in the water and health data information. So because that data did not get collected by doing anything to participants or to the cities, that is an observational study. So you're looking for those keywords of assigning or treating someone. Those words indicate that you're doing something, which is an experiment, or if you're just observing the results, that would be an observational study. So look for those action words. If there aren't action words in terms of what you're doing to your participants, then that would be an observational study. Hopefully that helps you to see some of the ways that you can tell if something is an observational study or a randomized experiment. See you in future videos.